Okay, this video is the syllabus point influence of TNCs uh, such as agribusiness and the media in shaping food consumption habits. So definitions, a TNC is a business entity that has operations critical to their prosperity in two or more countries. The degree of power or influence these TNCs have around the globe is unquestionable. Globalization is the growing interdependence of countries worldwide through the increasing volume and variety of cross-border interactions in goods and services and of international capital flows and through the more rapid and widespread diffusion of technology. Globalization is a term that was invented to emphasize the globalization of a product it is more likely to succeed when the product or service is adapted specifically to each locality or culture in which it's marketed. So maybe McDonald's adapts its um, food to the local markets, like having more cultural elements or like spins on its like uh, classic foods. So agribusiness is commercial agriculture characterized by integration of different steps in the food processing industry, usually through ownership by large corporations. So methods that they use, increasing in size by buying up smaller farms, increasing in size by removing hedgerows and draining wetlands, producing one crop or animal in monocultures in big quantities, applying huge amounts of chemicals in the form of fertilizers and pesticides, applying the best technology such as combined harvester or using better seeds, and just using modern production methods. So this is from a website. It's basically saying these big businesses have come to dominate the food markets and they use vertical integration allowing them to produce the food and get it to markets easily. This isn't just in the UK, it's just globally. So they often buy food before it's planted and well, the processing companies buy food before it's planted and that puts huge pressures on farmers of the appearance, quality and quantity of food produced. Positives of that it includes more food security, maybe more cheap prices for consumers. However, many farmers have been forced out of business and big companies have been seen to have too much power in the, over the market price of goods. It can also be bad for the environment, um, but overall farm sizes have increased largely because of this idea of an agribusiness and that largely impacts food consumption habits as it provides cheaper and like large bulk amounts of food for processing companies to buy. Okay, then we have the media. So the media uses advertisements, posters, TV, and now more kind of social media to influence food consumption. They, in LICs, access to TV or internet and mobile phones leads to successful market infiltration by TNCs. And it also plays onto cultural norms. So westernization of processed and junk food and frozen food is actually kind of something that people in LICs tend to aspire towards because they kind of glamorize this idea of westernized food and not, might not necessarily know the like health precautions that they must be taking into account at the same time. It is presented as convenient with celebrities endorsing it and as being cheaper and faster alternatives to like natural fresh food. Large investments into advertisements and endorsements again. The companies kind of invest in biological enjoyment but decrease sa sanitation. <laughs> I meant to say satiation, satiation, um, like, so you're not as full, but you just eat more of it, so you just buy more of it, because they basically want to make more money and profits to reinvest into their advertisements and remain, like, very powerful in the market. Addressing famine, okay, so this is kind of more into another video, but the media can oversaturate the public, leading to desensitization, and that might like in terms of famine or food waste and things might not necessarily really impact their food consumption as much as they should is as it should essentially